Today we're going to make these Mickey ghosts, so if you want to see how I made them, keep watching. So our supplies are going to be cheesecloth. I picked up this cheesecloth at Walmart. I paid about $4.50 for it, and you can find it in the craft section, and it has six yards, which is more than enough. You're also going to need some liquid starch, and I picked up this liquid starch at Walmart as well in the laundry detergent aisle. And you're also going to need some empty bottles and some styrofoam balls and I picked up these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. You're also going to need some scissors and a bowl. You're also going to need some pipe cleaner and I picked up this pipe cleaner at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. try to figure out how I'm going to drape it over my styrofoam ball. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm going to prepare my styrofoam ball and all I'm going to do is grab um, a pipe cleaner and then I'm going to cut that pipe cleaner in half and then I'm going to uh, make like an ear with a pipe cleaner. As I turn it and I make a little circle, I'm going to twist the end so that way that ear can stay just like this and then I'm gonna cut off the pipe cleaner and then I'm gonna go ahead and insert my ear inside the styrofoam so as you can see here I left a little piece of pipe cleaner sticking out that way it's easy for me to just insert it into the styrofoam and that way it stays in place that for both ears, just like this. And now you're going to grab your bottle and you're just going to go ahead and put your styrofoam ball right on top because that's what you're going to use to um, drape your ghost. So you need to put that to the side and then go ahead and get your cheese excuse me, your cheesecloth and start to uh, open up your cheesecloth after you've cut it. Now, cutting the cutting size is going to be up to you. It depends on how long you're going to want your ghost, how big or how small. All I'm doing is just opening it up and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to figure out how long I want my ghost to be and and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and cut it, cut the cheesecloth to the size that I want. So see, here's what I'm going to show you. I'm just going to drape it over and figure out how I want it to be before I actually cut it. So now that I know how long I want my ghost to be, I'm going to go ahead and just cut my cheesecloth. Now that I cut my cheesecloth to the size I want, I'm going to go ahead and cut three more uh, pieces just like this and I'm going to do four layers. So that's what I'm doing next. And then I'm going to grab my bowl and I'm going to add some liquid starch to it. And um, I will say that you need to wear some gloves because it is sticky. and. Um, I didn't have any and maybe use some wax paper on your surface that you're going to be using so you don't get it all over the place. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab my cheesecloth and put it right into my liquid starch. So I must warn you guys that this project is messy and it's sticky so just letting you know that the cheesecloth is a little hard to work with once you put the liquid starch on there. So it's going to take a little patience for you to open up that cheesecloth and uh, being able to drape it over your styrofoam ball. So putting the cheesecloth on your styrofoam ball is a little tricky because you do have the pipe cleaner on the sides that you're using as the ears. So just hold the styrofoam as you're trying to put the uh, to drape over the cheesecloth and then uh, just keep 
you know, trying to shape it into the ears and into the styrofoam ball. And just in the meantime, you're still holding the styrofoam ball. And um, this is going to be where you're going to need to have some patience because this does take a little bit. You want to make sure that you have that cheesecloth wrapped around the ears and on the styrofoam because that's what's going to um, give the Mickey uh, the shape. So I'm just going to go ahead and do another one, another layer. And I do a total of four of these pieces of cheesecloth. And I'm just going to keep draping them over and they don't have to go any particular way. You just want to make sure that you just drape them over and keep on shaping it as you're draping them onto the uh, styrofoam ball. So now I'm working on the bottom of the cheesecloth. I want to make sure that the there's no uh, folded edges in or that it's not curled up because I want to make sure that this uh, Mickey will be able to stand on its own. So that's why it's important to work on the base of the uh, Mickey. And uh, I'm just wetting my fingers with some starch and trying to make sure that I keep shaping those ears because I want to make sure that when I finally take them off of the styrofoam ball that you can tell that it is a Mickey. And I just keep playing with it. And then once it's, uh, when I'm satisfied, then I'll just set it to the side to dry. I'm going to make a garland Mickey ghost. So I just used a smaller little styrofoam ball. And then I made the ears obviously smaller because it is a smaller styrofoam ball. Let me show you guys how this came out. I already took it off of a see right there it's a little colored there um, when you use a water bottle make sure that you take the plastic paper or the paper around the bottle off so it doesn't stain but yeah this is what he looks like so far he's um he's pretty big I was gonna use this guy for a garland that I was gonna make but I think I'm just gonna use him to put like a candle underneath here and that way it lights up uh, I'm going to try to use the smaller little balls for, or the smaller Mickeys to see if I can use that as a garland. But so far, this is what I have. Isn't this guy cute? My daughter bought this for me uh, a couple days ago at Target. It was, I think, $10, $9.99. Yeah, $10 actually. It's a candy bowl. He's so cute. Uh, all right, let me get back to the Mickey ghost. So I'm going to show you another way to also do just a regular ghost. It's just using your styrofoam ball. Doing the same process. This one would be a little easier because you don't have the ears that you have to keep on trying to maneuver around or manipulate. This cheesecloth is, is a little hard to work with, especially when it's wet with this sticky starch. I hold the ball down as I'm trying to take out some of these um, where it bunches up. Just keep going. I'm going to do four layers. Once these guys dry, then I'm going to come back and show you what the next step is. So now I'm just letting them dry. But I would leave them for 12, uh, 24 hours to dry. And then once they dry, we'll take them off. I'll show you how to take them off and then how to uh, decorate them and how to use them. So these ghosts dried in about eight hours. 
and I'm just showing you here how I took out the styrofoam ball from the uh, regular ghost as you can see it came out nice and um, so I'm just gonna set that one aside and then I'm gonna show you how I take out the styrofoam ball on this one but I wanted to show you really quickly that uh, when I take out the styrofoam ball off of this Mickey the pipe cleaner still stayed inside the ears and um, there is another option that if you want to, if they do stay in there and you want to keep them in there, you can do so because uh, it does look nice with the ears like that as well. I should have kept them in. I ended up taking them off, but I like the way that looks, you see? So that's an option if you wanted to keep it like that, but I ended up taking them out. And that's my son messing with me. I can never film because my boys always mess with me. See, there's the pipe cleaner, it came out. So that's all you have to do is just go in there gently and just pull them out. And then this one just came off of the, so here's the head. This takes a little finagling, you know, do you have to kind of keep moving it gently, hold it, don't squeeze too tight because you'll end up making your ghost collapse. So just gently kind of try to get it to unstick. This takes a little work. Okay, here it comes. Oh, this one came off with the ears and everything. All right. And there's my little Mickey ghost. So I don't worry about all these bits, you know. Um, if we might just turn them into a garland, we may not. Um, but if you're gonna leave it into a garland, you can leave them all these little bits like this. If not, then you can just cut this out. But this is how they should look. These are the ones with the ears. Okay, and here's just the regular ghost. And this one we're gonna go ahead and uh, add our ears here or you can just leave it as is so let me show you what else we're gonna do to these okay so for this Mickey here I'm just gonna use a roll an old roll of paper towels and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it and then shape like some ears for him so I'm just gonna cut a couple circles you can draw your circle that way you have a nice perfect circle. I'm just freehanding this. Okay, I like that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my felt. I'm gonna fold my felt like this. That way I can cut both of them at the same time. So I'm folding my felt in half like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put, place my little template on top of that. And then just cut. All right. So now I just. You can either use the template and just, you know, glue the felt onto the template, or you can even just glue this one down together. That way it's thick and then just use that like that as an ear, which I might just end up doing that. I just might end up using these two together. I'm just gonna glue these two together like this. That was nice and thick, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and glue the ear right onto his head right here. So let me glue these, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've glued together my little ears. That way they're nice and, uh, I, I, glued, I glued two pieces together because I want it to be a little firm so it doesn't fold easily because if it's just one, you know piece of the felt then it's you know you can cut it'll flop so I don't want it to flop so that's why I, I went ahead and I glued the two little pieces and be careful with when you use the glue gun with this because um, you can really burn yourself so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some glue to the bottom here and then just position it onto my ghost and hold that for a little bit just hold it. And then 
with one ear. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Mickey. Now, you can draw in, like with a sharpie, the eyes. You can do a nose and a mouth if you want. And then um, what I did with this one is I did with felt two eyes. I did a little bow, like it's mini. And then I just went ahead and I put little black felt on here on the, on the ears. I think the bow might be a little too big. But, oh well, I already glued it on there. Let's see. Yeah. Um, what I wanted to do was do a garland with lights, you know, kind of put like a little hole back in and put them in the, a string of lights, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I think I'm just going to use them uh, individually, or I just may do them in a garland anyways, but without the lights. I don't know yet what I'm going to do, but um, I will show you once I've completed all this, I will show you what I came up with. Uh, this is up to you however you want to do your ghosts. Uh, I'm, I'm just giving you the concept, uh, but how you decorate them and how you use them is entirely up to you. So this is what one of those Mickeys looks like. Now that is not a real candle in there. That is actually a fake candle. It just looks really real, but it's not. And then here's the other. And this one I just used the um, a marker to do some eyes and the nose. You can't really see it, but those are those right there. Again, here's the other one. I don't know if I should try to hang the others up on my tree. Let me show you the others. Okay, so here are these, but I don't know what to do. I, was, I might just end up tying a little rope up here, put like a needle with thread and just put it up here and then that way I can just use them maybe as ornaments on my tree. I don't know. We shall see what I come up with. This one I just kept on the bottle because she's not really standing up, but maybe down the line I'll end up doing the garland and then I'll show you guys how I um, do the garland. But for now, um, I'm just leaving them just like this. And they look cute. These are standing up on their own right here. See that right there. And then she has, like I said, she needs a little help. But, uh, and then on this one, I just painted the eyes with Sharpie. And then I just put a little felt nose on, on him. And of course, these have the felt eyes and the little felt on the ears. This one has the felt ears and then the little eyes. And then there's that one that I just, I just use a Sharpie to do the eyes and the nose, which mm, I might end up doing something else to him. But for now, that's how he looks and uh, and there's a fake candle in there that's not a real candle um, yeah and oh my sister gave me this pumpkin um, but yeah this this is that one and then the other one is right over here this one has no face it's just like the ghost you know and again it's a fake candle it's one of these candles are fake it's the ones that look realistic that's why it looks like that. It looks real. But anyways, that's what I came up with. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Yep, I knew it. You were gonna be nosy. I knew it, because you were right there. Dodger, he was, I heard him. That's why I said, Dodger, come here, because he was right there. Say, thank you for watching. Dodger, thank you for watching. No. Thank you for watching. No. <laughs> Dodger says hi. Actually, Dodger is recovering because, tell him what happened to you, Dodger. Yes, you had a stroke, and now he's doing so much better, and I am so glad. I'm so glad my nosy dog is doing better. We had a double whammy in this family. We had Dodger's stroke, which was very, very scary. Huh, Dodger? It was very scary, and then I had to have surgery, but Dodger's was worse because he literally had a stroke. And he was 
paralyzed and now he's uh, actually moving around thank god all right guys well i hope you guys give this craft a try and thank you for watching bye